Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods in survival mode. I'm your host, Cosfade. It's episode 99. We're closing in on episode 100, and we have these things that we're doing. Um, Abernathy Farm, Green Skins. We're getting ready, so here's here's what we're really doing. Formex, recruit more settlements for the Minutemen. Talk to Preston Garvey about the Institute. And Raider Troubles at Hangman Alley. We have to go to Shamrock Tap House for that. So, we went to the Institute, um, the prior episode, and we said to our father, our, we said to father, who was our son, Sean, and we said, hey, I can't be a part of this because I think what you're doing is pretty slimy, which is true. And he said, well, you have to leave, and those who are not with us are against us. And so now we have gone to the Minutemen. And we're waiting kind of for Preston. So I'm going to go back to Abernathy Farm. And tell them we dealt with these super mutants. We're a bunch of punks. I like seeing that. Those guys are sitting down there. Those are our supply line folks and provisioners, and they're just sitting out there like... Swapping stories and having a smoke, which is really cool. I dig it. By the way, in I right hope now. everybody if I were gonna plan is having a good time tonight. You're here, you're watching this episode. Um, so you know it's a... It's actually, right now while I'm recording, it's a Saturday night. I have a glass of whiskey in my hand. That's one of the only reasons I hope to get to a thousand subscribers someday so I can monetize my channel and uh, you guys will be paying for my whiskey supply if you click on the commercials, <laughs> which would actually be kind of cool. I have, I have no delusions about being a big YouTube channel person like one of the people, <laughs> you know, like a PewDiePie or something like that. By the way, you're never going to catch me playing Minecraft anyway, so... I play the stuff I love to play. Blake. Well, you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or good news. They're dead. Come on. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. He's got to go through his seven-second standing animation. I guess you were the right person for the job. You're damn right. Huh? Thanks, friend. Anything else? Okay, we gotta go back and talk to Preston. Alright, so that's awesome. Um, but anyway, you know, YouTube is an interesting thing. It's... I, for one thing, I never thought that playing a video game and posting videos of it was ever going to be anything anybody ever wanted to do. But now, where network TV is, I can't blame you guys. It's actually more... In some cases, it's more interesting to watch someone play a video game than to watch a sitcom. Television has got really bad at times. Jeez. Thank God for Netflix and, and Disney Plus and some of these other channels making some quality content because network TV is horrible. <coughs> bad news. The Institute has been scouting the castle. Looks like they're getting ready for a major attack. If they can knock out the castle, it could set us back to square one. We can't let that happen again. I've sent word for all available men and men to rally at the castle. We've got to win this one. Okay, defend the castle. All right, Preston. It's getting dark out there, people. Stay safe. Preston, look. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Completed form ranks. Okay, but now. Hold on. Oh, we're waiting for that. We're waiting for Preston to get his. Waiting for the quest to update. Okay, so what now, Preston? Now, what's it say? Defend the castle. Travel to the castle while I'm here. Okay, so I'm gonna save the game because this could go badly for us now. You guys are here. Is there anything else that I can do? Okay, before this all goes down, is there anything else I can build? Heavy machine gun turret? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. You. I 
that the mod that I had placed anywhere it doesn't seem like it's working as well as it used to since the update. I'm a little bit bothered by that. Um, yeah. I don't know how much this is going to matter, but... I got an idea. I got an idea. Say the idea! I'm going to say the idea. Um, you, you can just hang tough right there. Cement walls. Okay, I want you guys to be able to shoot through here, but I don't want them to be able to come through here. Okay, yeah. So place anywhere is not working anymore thanks to because you should be able to just click this. I should be able to just do this. Oh, that's not. Okay, hold on. Maybe it does work. Nope, because look, it's not letting me do that. Ah, that's bogus. So something about that mod is off now. That's okay. We made that work, so. That's the big thing. I don't want them to be able to come through here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's... I'd rather do this in daytime. I mean, it's a little bit easier at night with my power armor, because I can see everybody. Well, let's do it. Let's talk to Preston. Preston, what do you got? I took care of those super mutants. There we go. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that yeah, needs yeah. it. That can only help our cause. Okay, Preston. What do you guys think? Daytime or nighttime? I got an idea. Let's sleep, because I really don't like this. Really don't like the idea of trying to fight the Institute during the daytime. I mean, during the nighttime. Even with the, the power armor. Good, I guess. Yes, we're going to fight them in the morning, because being able to have a little bit of sunlight is better. Coming out of out of our slumber. Turns out we have to defend against this. In the area, defend the castle. And unfortunately for us, the smallest stray bullet causes all the settlers here to try to kill us. So I have learned that in order to defend the castle 100 percent I pretty much need to do nothing. I need to do that. I'm gonna get a weapon ready here. A grenade. It's gonna be a pulse grenade. These end up being kind of useful because they're mostly robots. It's been sound. going pretty good lately. Is someone present? Mm -hmm. Huh? This machine gun at a distance is great because it pretty much blows up everything. We can handle anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, then the, the next group of ding dongs start to come over from here. What I figured out over in this direction is I should just snipe them with this thing. So there's that. Aha, I caught him running. That's awesome. So there there end up being courses behind us over here. We have plenty of We have plenty of firepower to protect against that. You 
Oh! So I just need, I need to stay out of the way on that. For now. It's not over yet. It's defend the castle 60%. That was awesome. Those guys just showed up. Don't look. There's a courser. Okay, let's see if we can help take these guys out. and taking this side and I'll handle the other side. I got to 80% last time when I got waxed because I accidentally shot apparently something that I did. any of my own people so I'm gonna go in here. Can you follow me in here? That guy's dead. Where is he? He's dead. Okay. my quick bar for Stimpaks. There we go. Last Corsair. Oh no, there's still somebody. Still fighting somebody. It was a tough fight, but I knew the Minute Man were up to the challenge. Institute Courser. I want his uniform, really. That's what I want. I want all these guys' uniforms because you can give them ballistic lighting, ballistic lighting or something. Oh my god. It's corn to fix. You're getting too much to wrap. Oh, that's fine. Who's left? Yo, new business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going. They, were, with they this, sent right? coursers after us. You know why they did that? It's the punks. There we go. I'm gonna take these uniforms and do something. That'll show them. They'll think twice before attacking the Minutemen after this. Maybe. If you guys would all get out of my way. Let's talk to hey there. I guess the Institute will think twice before tangling with the Minutemen again. I hear you're working on figuring out how to hit back at those rats. Yes. I hope you find a way and soon. I'd like another crack at them with the shoe on the other foot this time. I think Preston wanted to talk to you. Maybe he has some good news. That would be fantastic. Where's Preston at? Where is Preston at? He's here. He's out there somewhere. There he is. Preston, quit wandering around and let me come talk to you. Preston, my man. It's time for us to strike back against the Institute. Yes, it is. I have some good news for you. Sturgis found a way into the Institute. We can launch an attack whenever you say the word. I like it. What's the secret way in? He's been analyzing that data you brought back. Turns out, it included maps of their whole underground complex. He found some old tunnel that's still open to the surface. Cooling water for their reactor, I think. I figure you can get in that way and secure the teleporter, then use it to bring in the rest of our troops. We fight our way to their reactor, fix it to blow, and get the hell out of there.
Do we have enough troops for the assault? Yes, I think we do now. Enough to fight our way to the reactor, which is all we need. Get the details from Sturgis. I'll make sure the Minutemen are standing by to teleport into the Institute on your signal. This is a very interesting way to do this story. Like I was saying in the earlier episode, I've just never done it this way. I've never, I've always kind of, sort of sided with the Institute with the, with the idea that I was going to betray them later. But this time I just decided from the beginning to say, you know what, Father, I think you're kind of a prick. And uh, we did that from the get-go. And that's, that's created a, a little, a little different of a story, which I actually like. I'm kind of surprised that, uh, I'm kind of surprised that this, that the way I'm playing the game now wasn't actually my first way of playing it. Because this is, I'm surprised, I just, I don't remember experiencing this at all. I remember doing all the institute quests, you have the courser, and he makes you do all these various things, and go on these quests, and do this stuff, and then at, at a certain point in time later, you're like, nah. and I'm done with you. Okay, so, courser uniforms are heavy. Silver shroud armor, I have all this other stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm carrying around a lot of stuff. Get rid of it! Get rid of it, hunting rifle. I don't need that. I need one of these 762s, though. Oh, I have this one. Okay. It's not favored, though, is it? That's why I haven't had it. That makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna get that ready. Because going into the Institute, I want to have my best stuff available. So the 762 that the Institute has, this one. This one, favorite that and put it in, um, well, seventh slot would be the most appropriate because it makes the most sense. December's Child, 556 rounds, put that in slot two. Well, what do we have to do here? It's a quest at nuclear option, talk to Sturgis. Raider troubles at hangman's when kill the raider. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Overseers most wanted, don't care. Okay. Not doing any of the vault tech stuff, so. Let's go, my man. We got things to do. Sturgis. I'm kind of in a hurry to get this game done now. It's been really fun. And if I wasn't recording it for YouTube, I would probably take more time and make sure that I I like to complete every single quest that I have and have pretty much an empty quest log by the time I go after the Institute but being this is YouTube and there's you know three of you are still watching which I can't blame you I mean it's been a long series I think, uh, I think the best thing to do now is try to put this sucker to bed so let's do it but I hope I can't. Here's what would be a great question. This is a great question for me. You people who watched this series this far, it's episode 99. You're this far into it. Mr. Christopher. Is, well, and that's me. Is there anybody here watching this series right now that has never played Fallout 4? And if that's the case, please leave a comment down below. I just, I just want to know. I'm just curious. That's all. I gotta get rid of all this junk in here. There's a bunch of stuff in my way. I don't like having all this clutter. Alright, go better about that now. Sturgis. Hey boss. I've been hoping you'd stop by. Oh, that's my job. I found you a way into the institute. Good. Institute would leave another way in. Yeah, well, it seems the Institute isn't quite as self-contained as they'd like everyone to believe. Turns out they're still using an old water pipe that runs out to the river. Brings in cooling water to their reactor. Its entrance is underwater and is blocked by a security grate. Also, 
The whole pipe is labeled high radiation danger. But there isn't any other way in that I can find. So it's this or nothing. <laughs> How do I get past the security grade? Oh, right. I found the code that should open it. So all you have to do is survive the trip. Now, as soon as you get in there, you need to access the main relay control and use this hollow tape to teleport everybody into the Institute. Sturgis, you're the man, as always. Which means we need to get prepared. Okay, so what's the journal say? Nuclear option, gain access to the Institute. Greater troubles I don't care about. Do do dishonor, vault tech column, miscellaneous. Yeah, finish repairing the mainframe. I'm never doing that. I've done it before. It's interesting, but. Okay, so here's the big thing. I keep hit pressing the wrong button. Here's the big thing about this version of the quest. The way I did it, where I told my father, where I told my son right away, father, where I told him, eh, I'm not interested. If you do it the other way, if you try to buddy up to him at least for a little while before you decide to betray him, you get to do all these other quests where Hangman's Alley, where he's eventually going to send you after the Brotherhood of Steel and you're going to blow them up, or you're going to blow up, you know, you're going to you're going to have to choose a side. You're going to have to choose the the railroad or the Brotherhood. So I remember blowing up the Brotherhood and you get to fight their giant robot and all that stuff and it's really intense and there's a lot of gunplay, but I'm, I'm liking this. This is good. So what I want to do is... Let's you see. need something, monsieur. Well, who do I want to take with me? Minigun and freezing. Fat man. Missile launcher, quad barrel, night vision. Missile launcher of the exterminator. I don't want that one. I do I want the fat man. Alright. As far as weapons go. I don't care about... Goss of Violence? What is this? 762. Why is it called the Goss of Violence? What is it? I'm going to pick it up for a second and see if it's different. It's called the Goss of Violence. It does what? It does the same thing as my operator one, which does 150 damage while reloading. I don't care about that. Alright. I'm looking for... A missile launcher. Okay, missile launcher of the enraging. No, don't care about that. That critical damage causes frenzy. Bayonet plus twenty five percent damage. I like that. Give me that. Okay, and then seven sixty two guns. I don't have anything that's. Yeah, I don't have anything. What I'm gonna do though? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff. Anything that's got a lot of mods on it. Night vision. I like that. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody lay off for two seconds. Alright, so who do we want to take with us to this last melee? Building something useful, I hope. And stuff. Oh. I were gonna plan an amboy. Nick. I gotta hand it to Nick for being one of the absolute best NPCs ever in any game. Also for Kate being one of the best NPCs in any game ever. Um, I gotta hand it to Bethesda for making fall for awesome. I know some people are upset. I know there are still upset people who said, oh, it's not like Fallout 1 and 2. It's not like Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, it's not. But it's still 
really awesome. It used to be it's a, a lot real of fun. beautiful city. Does anybody d d have people just forgotten what fun feels like? That's what I feel like when people critique games. Sometimes I think they feel like honest work gets. I feel like they just forgot what fun feels like. So this is what fun feels like, which is fantastic. To me. Find a way into the institute. Well, so here's what we're gonna do. Yes. I have all my weapons. Um, I have my 62, oh, 100 damage, 150 damage resistance while reloading, which I don't really care about. Okay, and then I got the rest of my guns, and I got... And wait a minute. And I'm overloaded. Getting Why am I overloaded? Maybe we Storal junk. Now I'm at 394, night. Here's the only yeah. other thing I need to know, is how much ammunition do I have for this? 82? That's so. Oh. 82. It's one of my best guns. That's kind of the problem with it, is that it's not a lot of. Okay. There's lead. Okay. So, is there fertilizer? That's the big problem. Fertilizer? A cow right here. Let's see. Fertilizer. Well, oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Lead. See, I saw that. I saw that, and it was right there. And I saw fertilizer. I don't know what else I need. Raiders, super mutants, shambles. Kate. You name it. You call the city. I feel like I need to do some kind of montage at the end of this game to talk about how awesome all this stuff has been because. Especially some of these particular mods have been. Thank you. I want that. New build. Steel lead fertilizer. Let's keep looking. Steel lead fertilizer. It's gonna make some. Let me see if I have any more steel lead. I it's getting late. We should look for shelter. Maybe we should look for a shelter. This is a shelter. Um, but this, just to have it said, so let's talk about this for a second. Hold on. I'm going to do this. So this is worth it. We're getting down on the nitty gritty here. The episode's going to be at the end. I feel like this is worth... This is worth highlighting. Kate and Curie. These are the loving Kates and loving Curie and all that stuff. Oop, I hit the wrong thing. Um, never mind. As you wish. These mods right here. Look at that. That's what Curie looks what like. I wouldn't give for a good stiff. That's what drink. Kate looks like, who's fabulous. Hey Ready to head back out? How does Kate not look like the most fabulous NPC in the world ever, compared to how she looked like in the base game? I just want to thank. Well, yeah, you know what? We're getting down to the end of the game. Ready? You can good. come with me. Then let's get moving. And here she is, the one, the only, K. Yes, Deacon is correct. <laughs> is that how they used to do it in the combat zone? I'd be glad to show you how we did things in the combat zone, Kate, Deacon. do it. Name the time and the place. Yes, ma'am. She's awesome. And her attitude is great, and her voice actress is fantastic. Whatever her name is, I've never looked it up. But she's fantastic. She's a huge yeah. reason why I love, but the person, she's a huge reason why I love the game. I should finish my sentences before I move on to the next one. She's a huge reason. I love the game. You also, Nick is fantastic. Let me see and you know, Piper is, is, is exactly what Piper needed to be. Curie is exactly what Curie needed to be. They're all exactly what they needed to be, which is fantastic. But the person who made the mods for Loving Kate and Loving Piper and Loving Curie, thank you. You did fantastic work. They look a thousand times better. When you see, when you see these people, I mean, she looks. Never mind. As you wish. She looks fantastic. So thanks to that, it makes the game. These mods make the game worth replaying. They make the game worthwhile. Um, actually, last thing I'm gonna do here before we before we head out. Day of hard work never changes. Yeah. 
I don't know, never change. I'm gonna go over here and get my suit ready. Because I have my, uh, I'm just gonna fix everything. I know a lot of people just have gripes about Fallout 4 and complain about it, but I've got to say, for me, this has been an amazing game. i played through it front to back probably six times. I think Bethesda did a fantastic job with it. I think it's a lot of fun. I knew you would help us. If I were going to plan an ambush. You know what I'm You hear about that bomb run by ghouls? I just think this has been an amazing, amazing game with an amazing story. Um, it's as simple as that. It's it's just it's long and it's fun. It's a game easily that you'll spend a hundred hours on. The mods make it so good. If you want to play survival like I do, uh, survival mods and and salvage beacons and all that stuff really helps turn it into a fantastic game. So I'm going to get the last little bit of, of ammo out of here, but um, I'm going to end this episode right here. We're going to we're gonna go invade the, the Institute on the next episode, and that's probably... I may let that episode run long. It's probably going to be the end of the game. So folks, those of you who've made it this far through the series, my God, thank you for watching. And uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for being a part of the channel. As always, if you have a question or comment, just drop it down below. And I will do my best to respond. I try to respond to everybody, uh, at least all the reasonable comments. If you like the channel for some reason and you've not already subscribed, then just subscribe. I appreciate it. Every subscription matters. I see my subscribers go up every single month. Every single month I get somewhere between 20 and 30 new subscribers. We're going to hit a thousand someday. It's going to be fun. Um, we're going to do something for the thousand subscriber mark because that's when you can start to monetize your channel. That's when you can start to... I can make a little bit of money maybe to pay for a bottle of whiskey, which helps me have fun when I play these games and YouTube them for you. So uh, we will do some kind of giveaway or something. Um, we might do a game giveaway on Steam or something, or I might buy somebody a game on their wish list or something. We'll do something when we cross the 1,000 subscriber threshold. I guarantee it. So folks, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Fallout 4, we're almost done. Thanks for watching.